also I don't know if I'm going to post this video I'm very scared to talk about this um, as much as I look brave I'm very scared to talk about this because the internet is a very scary place so if this video comes to see the light of YouTube one day um, I'm going to honestly applaud myself because I know it took a lot from me to talk about this hello fine people of YouTube welcome back to my channel it's been so long since I did this it feels we are doing it um, by the way before I even begin this video if you don't know yet I have a new channel with two of my friends it's called sugar spice and everything nice and we talk about all things fashion, lifestyle, candid conversations about women, about empowerment, about so many other things. So if you already subscribe here, then you should definitely subscribe there and yeah, watch there too. Anyway, so the point, the purpose of this video is that I felt like I had been gone for so long and I'm finally ready to be back on YouTube and create content for YouTube but I thought it would be rude for me to just like also it's raining so forgive me if you hear like thunder and rain in the background I have no control over the weather but today is the only day I have to do this so forgive me anyway I was saying I felt like it would just be like weird for me to just pop out of the out of nowhere and you guys are like my my family you're my YouTube family so I thought it would be best if I just did this video and I just told you guys what's been happening so get your tea honey let's talk so let's okay let me just go back to where I was before I decided to take a break so the last time you guys saw me was at my branch series um, at Karura. Yeah. So ever since then, I, I, like a lot has changed. And the biggest thing that happened to me during that break I took is that I went through a very emotionally draining heartbreak. Um which is normal like we go through hard breaks i think we've all gone through hard breaks maybe once or twice or thrice or four times or five times in our lives or in whatever age you're in i'm sure your heart has been broken before and if you haven't then honey thank your god but i went through a very emotionally draining heartbreak and the reason this wasn't just like another heartbreak for me is that because Previously, I have struggled with mental health issues. I feel like mental health is a topic that society has deemed so bad and it has such a negative, um, negative whatever to it that when anyone says the words mental health, everyone is like, <gasps> like it's a forbid forbidden topic we can't talk about. Um, mainly because of the African culture and so many other things, just how we've been raised and how we've been brought up to not talk about mental health issues. Um, because I'm sure most people, like our parents or our grandparents, every time you, you bring about such an issue, they either relate it to drugs or they just say, ah, she's gonna get over it or atakuwa too sour and things like that and it's a topic that we really need to speak about because a lot of people especially the youth in Kenya are going through mental health issues and the more we keep ignoring it the more we keep losing lives to to it because there's no um there's no proper conversation around it and there's no proper support for people who are going through those things they end up struggling through it by themselves because their family or their friends don't understand anyway I'm rambling forgive me but I felt like um, since I have this platform I should use it to the most positive way I could and just speak about something that has not only affected me but affected a lot of people I know personally and a lot of people who have opened up to me and told me um, the time I realized that I suffered from depression was about two years ago yes two years ago 
I had no motivation to do anything. It was a struggle to leave my bed. It was a struggle to leave my house. I couldn't cook. I couldn't clean. I couldn't do anything that you do in your normal day that seems normal to you. I it wasn't possible for me. I it was it took a lot of strength to even get out of my bed and want to do anything. I couldn't go to class. Even even the days I pushed myself to go to class, I couldn't concentrate. I couldn't hear anything that was happening. So as a result, I got the lowest GPA I have ever gotten my entire life. As in, I'm even embarrassed to say. It was that bad. I cried almost every day. I couldn't pray. I couldn't talk to anyone. Um, so I kept to myself. I distracted myself in all the possible ways I could. I questioned a lot of things. I questioned my own life. I doubted a lot of things within me. And to be honest, I don't even know how I got out of that episode. Because you have depressive episodes. I don't know how I got out of that episode. But I, I, I ran to things like partying like i had didn't have energy to do anything but if there was a party sharon mwangi was at the party and i was drunk and if you know me i don't drink like i'm not the type who goes to the club and they're like hey let's get drunk like i'll have a cocktail or two or a glass of wine and i'm done at that days i even i like alcohol has never been a thing for me but during that time it was the thing for me it was the go-to thing for me just because I didn't want to be in my thoughts anymore. So that happened and then um, I got into a relationship. Or not really a relationship. I got into a situation and I found temporary happiness in it. So I was able to get through it. Then that situation um, ended and then I got into a relationship with my current ex. And... I was fine. I was happy. You guys could see on my videos. I was happy. You know, the thing is, I really just don't want to live a lie. I don't want to put out all this content and pretend that I'm the happiest person or I'm perfect or my life is amazing. Like, I have the same struggles you have. I have every person, like, everyday struggles. I go through shit and I just don't want to put up a facade you know so even as i was doing all that i was doing i was i was happy i was like i'm fine like i'm okay oh my god this thunder is so annoying it's so loud i hope you guys would be able to hear it so let's go back to the point so when things when things ended i became a zombie basically and and i just i doubted everything i went through basically the same thing i went through before i doubt i questioned everything i i i was questioning god and i'm like god why does everyone have such an easy way like such an easy um because this happened because of my breakup and i was like why does everyone have such an easy walk to love and have such an easy time finding love or being in love all my friends like everyone around me and i was like why is it so hard for me what have i done wrong or what, am i undeserving i am such a shit ass person that no one else another human being can't find it in himself to love me like I was just like tired my my heart was tired my mind was tired i was done i was done and i just remember being tired of being tired basically i was oh my god i don't i really don't want to cry but i was tired of being tired i was tired of feeling how i was feeling and i i was just done so i know not all of the people who are going to watch this are religious or have believe in god or all of that so i'm not trying to force my religion or my my beliefs to anyone i'm just saying what i feel and what worked for me 
and above anything else that i value in life is my relationship with god because my relationship with god and prayer is the only thing that helped me get through that and i know that people who suffer worse mental well, issues worse mental issues and have to take medication for it and have to seek therapy and i have such people in my life and honestly i commend them because it takes a lot of strength to do that to actually you know it takes a lot of strength that i don't even think that i have in myself because mine was just a mild case so yeah so what i did is i remember one day i came home from work and this was after months of going through this and it was after months of i know if you followed me if you follow me on twitter i'm sure you saw my tweets like my bro my tweets were wilding out like i was just done i was honestly done with life i was like you know what fuck this shit i'm done i was sad all the time i i didn't know what happiness felt like honestly i did know what happiness felt like so i remember i got home one day and i just i don't know where it came from i don't know i just got on my knees probably the only time before that that I, that I had ever gotten on my knees and I prayed and I prayed and I cried and I cried and I told God I'm tired God like honestly I was so tired of feeling how I was feeling I was tired of all of this I just wanted peace in my mind and peace in my heart and I, I needed to deal with my issues and not make excuses for them. I needed to accept myself. I needed to love myself. I needed to go through all of these things. And I needed him to guide me and give me the strength to do that. I needed to forgive the people who hurt me. Because it takes a lot to forgive someone who is not even sorry. Someone who didn't even apologize for hurting you yet you find it in your heart to forgive them it takes a lot of strength and i needed that and i didn't know how else to get that strength if not from god and like i said i i don't i know there are people who don't have the same beliefs as i do but this is what i'm giving you my experience and what helped me through it yeah so now i'm back on the youtube and i promise i will try be as consistent as i can with this channel and with my channel with my friends i have a lot of exciting content that i want to do and i want to show you guys and i want to you guys to walk with me through it i still i'm still gonna do my brunch series because bro i'm still in love with brunch and i still have like a long list of restaurants that i was yet to to get to um, I'm still gonna do a lot of fashion content because fashion is my first love and a lot of beauty and lifestyle and travel Speaking of travel, I have a Charlie Island vlog that I'm also working on that I will post soon and um, I just want to thank you for sitting through this whole long ass video and listening to me rant and talk and I want to encourage you to just if you're going through any mental health issues please seek professional help um, be understanding and kind to the people around you and even the strangers you meet because you don't know what they're going through honestly and yeah spread love i feel like um i'm like a motivational speaker spread love be kind all of that but honey for real like spread love because god is love and without love then honestly this is just a shit ass world that we live in so yeah so thank you for watching um subscribe if you haven't already and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and i really want to know your thoughts on this topic so please share your experiences or share your thoughts on this in the comment section and again thank you for watching mm -hmm.